What is going on guys, Jordan here back with another tutorial video. Today we are going back to browser hacks as it is working in 11.0. So before we do any of that, I just gotta let you guys know there is a slightly updated version of the starter kit for getting files in order to do uh, homebrew on your own 3DS system. So that's the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and download the newest starter kit and install that to your SD card. And the way you do that is let's pretend for instance that this uh, is the zip folder that it, you see and this is the your 3DS system that you wanna do it. Obviously it's a backup, but this is, we're just pretending this is the root of your SD card. You simply wanna just grab the 3DS folder and the boot.3ds file and just stick them right here somewhere. They will try to automatically uh, update or automatically copy over uh, any files that are there. If you already do have uh, a 3DS folder in Homebrew, and if you don't, then it's no problem. Then it just, you know, puts it there for the first time. So, anyway, up until this point, we've only had uh, Cubic Ninja and uh, Freaky Forms Deluxe as methods that would get you to the Homebrew channel without any uh, without any prior access points. So, with all the other ones like Super Memchuck Hacks and all those other ones, you need to have been on the Homebrew channel already. Which, if you didn't have those games that I just mentioned, was hard to do. Uh, anyway, so now that Browser Hacks is working, until it gets patched, which could be a day, it could be a month, we don't know, um, we all have access to Browser Hacks, which is why it's imperative that you guys get on it as soon as possible. So, once again, go ahead and download that those files on the Dropbox link in the description. And the second thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and make sure that your 3DS system is set back to the correct date and time. If any of you guys did the 10.5, uh, the 10.5 method that I showed you before, I recommended switching back to January 1st. Yeah, no, undo that for this. Apparently, you want to be completely up to date. This doesn't rely on any of the old uh, browser, anything like that. So we're just going to go straight on into the internet browser here. Once you've got those files, then you should be good to go. And this, once again, I don't think, actually, I don't think I've said it, but this does work on both the old 3DS and new 3DS. So before you do this step that I'm doing right now, which is as you can see, I'm starting up the browser like I've never started it up before, you wanna go ahead and go into your settings and delete your cookies and clear your save data for your browser. Mostly because there's no real reason to, I mean, unless you're uh, doing anything weird on your 3DS internet browser, like I can't see why you would need uh, your internet history here. So go ahead and delete it and get a new save started just to make sure that it doesn't try to load any cached files or anything like that of this site or any other sites while it's doing that. So the site you're gonna wanna enter, normally I would say uh, go directly to the link that it gives you, but for this one, it might actually be easier to go ahead and go to the main page, which is what we're gonna do here. So uh, type in on your 3DS, HTTPS, colon slash slash, and this is obviously for old 3DS or new 3DS, does not matter, yls8.mvall.com slash, oh, that's dot vom, like vomit, uh, dot com slash 3DS browser hacks dot php. Let me just double check, make sure that's spelled yls8. Yep, okay, so you go ahead and click open. And it should open it's something about a security ticket. That's fine. Just go straight in. Uh, so it should load this page, and it's going to look uh, a lot like the actual. I mean, it's, it's going to look like the actual page if you just opened it up on your browser. So as you can see here, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. What you can do is right away you can tap this QR code here, and it should try and take you to uh, the correct homebrew method. Uh, for your version and we're going to scroll down here and I'm going to explain a few things here. So obviously this old version that it's talking about here on the bottom screen about resetting your browser and system settings and such, that was for the old. But here are the current methods that we have now, which are old 3DS Spider 31 and new, new 3DS Skater 31 hacks. So both of those methods apparently work up to 11.0. Um, apparently any new DS, new 3DS system up to 11.0 or lower will work, so you don't have to necessarily update to do this one, but it's, it's just saying all below that. And then with the old 3DS, you must be on 10.6 to 11.0. So if you're on 10.5 and you want to stay that way, just keep doing the, uh, just keep doing the uh, Y2K method that I showed you guys in another video. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and tap Skater 31 hacks because that is my uh, 3DS here. And it should just go, it's going to go right into the yellow screen, go into the gray screen, and it looks like it's just going to load up uh, Homebrew, no problem here, as soon as it goes, yep. And there you have it. If you have the files there correctly, and you have uh, everything where it needs to be, and you've clicked on it properly, I mean, it's really hard, to, it's really, really hard to mess up browser hacks 
uh, this time and especially now apparently it goes through a lot more often like I know a lot of you guys remember from the Y2K method it would only work like once out of every three or four times this apparently is like somewhere in the two out of three or two out of or three out of four kind of range so definitely much more reliable than it used to be um, in the next video which will be in the description I'm gonna show you guys how to get onto menu hacks I just wanted to keep them separate uh, because if you ha if you prefer another secondary method that's fine you don't have to do many hacks and if you um, you know only needed menu hacks but you didn't need browser hacks I didn't want to waste people's time with both videos so with that in mind that'll be all there is to it for browser hacks let me know in the comment section if you have any questions I'll try to help you all out as best I can but again this is pretty this is pretty well laid out there isn't a whole lot of uh, room to screw up here just clear reset your browser make sure your d dates and times are all up to date make sure the files are on your SD card and enter the web address and click the link that is for your DS and it should work so with that, this is Joder signing out, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. You have a good one. Bye-bye!